it was not possible for us to, to know that or Kevin De Bruyne, who are very creative players. The other instruction was, uh, because we know that, uh, we, know that we, we have only 30 persons per session, recovery of the ball, playing back to the defense. So the, the, first, the first goal was uh, something like that, high defense, because they play always high, they have uh, ball, good ball possession, when they lose the ball, there is a big counter pressing from uh, Manchester City. So the first goal, Marcelo, long ball for Toko Ekambi, who was not offside, with Eric Garcia. Ederson uh, goes from
from the ball and Corne follow very well the, the action. He had the ball here and he can score uh, for the first goal just here. The VAR confirmed that he was not offside, so the second part of the plan was very good about hitting them in the spaces behind the ball. for us and after five minutes the second uh, the second half uh, happened what what we knew at the half time at the half time I told my player they can't uh, stay like this with the back three so they will change maybe at the beginning of the second half or maybe later Mares enter take off Fernandinho and Mares enter on the right side of the attack of Manchester City and he put uh, De Bruyne in a 4-2-3-1, like this. Uh, like I told you, the, the big quality, the, there are a lot of qualities, but the big quality of City is to can, to can play in the spaces in the box. So they did like this, uh, Mares with, with Sterling, Mares ball on the, on the spaces, Sterling uh, with, with Donayer uh, defending, but, but De Bruyne came here, in the, in the back in and, uh, and uh, Sterling gave him the ball for the one ball. So typical Manchester City offensive action, but uh, like I told to my player, the, the opponent had the right to play well. So it's not always our fault or our mistake. After that, I remember I take off Dubois. It was a difficulty in the right side. I put Tete, a physical one. My first substitute was Mendes, a stronger midfield, stronger than, than Bruno Guimaraes. And after that, I, I put Tete and I put Dembele in the match on the 1-1. One -one because it was necessary for us to have uh, two quick players in the front. It was 1-1 one -one until uh, 75, minute 75. When, uh, when Dembele and uh, Tete enters for us. Uh, because like I told you, uh, I needed some quick player and, and, and fresh player in, the, in, the, in my attack. The second goal was a, a recover from uh, maybe Maxence Cacré. Laporte had the ball. He tried to play with the midfield. Cacré uh, recovered the ball, gave to Awar, and after Awar play in the spaces. Toko Ekambi was offside, but he didn't touch the ball. And, uh, and Dembele was uh, faster than, than Laporte. And 1-1 one -one against uh, Ederson, it was 2-1 for us. So it was like we thought the, the game, the possibility of hit, hit, hit them back, back to, the, to, to their defense. One of the key moments of the, of the game was the very big uh, opportunity just before we scored the, the third goal with, uh, with Dembele. But in football, it's, it's always like, like this. Uh, when one team has a big opportunity like, like Sterling, if they miss the, this opportunity, in the, in the few minutes after this opportunity, th there is a big danger for the team who, who misses this action. So one of the key moments was that Sterling in front of the goal, that was the 